Four commercial real estate trends to watch in 2024 from Forbes. Going over the article, as we begin in 2024, commercial real estate investors are keeping a close eye on the trends most likely to dominate news headlines and impact portfolio performance in the coming year. Industry players are going to cope with the highest borrowing costs seen in over 15 years. Uh, traditional banks have pulled back from the commercial lending scene. Um, I would agree with that trend, although it was more pronounced earlier in the year in terms of accessing lending facilities, especially from uh, regional banks. Going on, um, across the commercial real estate industry, investors are looking for clues as to whether the Federal Reserve will continue to raise interest rates for the rest of 2024 or reverse course and lower rates and inflation moderates. Um, so far, we're actually kind of seeing um, neither. They're kind of uh, staying the course so far. Regardless of where interest rates land this year, it's clear that many of the national regional banks have pulled back on extending credit to commercial real estate investors. You know, we just talked a little bit about this trend. And uh, the next trend this article mentions is big mergers dominate headlines in the grocery space. Um, throughout 2023, news in the grocery industry revolved around the merger between Kroger and Albertsons. Um, going on here. Another episode of industry consolidation, um, Aldi announced that it would acquire all outstanding shares of Southeastern Grocers, Inc., the parent company of Winn-Dixie and Harvey's. But consolidation is definitely something we see, although admittedly the grocery space isn't an area my company is particularly focused on. But multifamily is an area, and here we see another trend of the article. Reduced capital availability has limited the ability of developers to bring new multifamily units online. Construction starts remain muted, and there are concerns that the volume of new multifamily units delivered to the market in 2024 could lag behind demand. If this trend continues as the potential to keep occupancy high, and as the supply of new units remains constrained, rent growth could pick up in 2024. Um, yeah, would agree that on a national basis, um, the dynamics of multifamily um, appear to remain strong, although things change on a regional basis, property to property basis, but we definitely do seem to have a, still a housing affordability issue with constrained supply um, and people having trouble finding units at reasonable rent prices. So that market does seem relatively strong. Another trend, industrial real estate rides macro trends into 2024. Successful industrial real estate investments often support local commerce within communities and neighborhoods. This asset class comprised largely of distribution centers, warehouses, and other logistics centers performed very well during the pandemic. As online shopping became a way of life and e-commerce activity took a significant leap forward. Coming into 2023, investors were concerned that these assets might come under pressure as pandemic era restrictions had ended and consumers returned to physical stores. However, recent reports by the U.S. Census Bureau show that e-commerce in the United States continues to grow steadily and remains a bright spot in the economy. Recently published data pined, pinned total U.S. e-commerce retail sales at $271 billion at the end of the third quarter of 2023, which represents an increase of 31.5% since the third quarter of 2020. E-commerce sales now total 15.6% of all U.S. retail sales, up from 14.1% in the third quarter of 2020. 22. Yes, e-commerce does seem to be healthy. The pandemic seemed to merely accelerate trends. That said, the challenge in industrial is probably not is the class healthy, um, but the challenge is finding um, reasonably priced properties in a class that has been very strong and continues to be strong. Going on in the article, the data indicates that e-commerce growth is a structural trend that was accelerated by the pandemic bill, as I just mentioned, but will continue in the post-pandemic period as well. Investors in this asset class have done well over the last several years and appear primed for strong performance into 2024. I just say the caveat there is when everybody knows it, it's hard to get a good price on an asset. So in closing, those are a few trends from the Forbes article. Some good information here. If you enjoyed it, uh, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks a lot.